Hey guys, welcome to Nail Wasted and welcome to your YouTube channel. I'm really excited to start this video on watching me do my nails. So here I'm starting off by applying the tips onto my natural nails. I'm going to use glue and I'm going to make sure that the tip fits perfectly onto my natural nail. And what I mean is making sure that the tip covers both sides of the nail. I know a lot of people have issues when they go to your local chop shop and half your nail is missing on the sides. I mean, that's a really big challenge, especially if you're starting off to do nails um, when it comes to the acrylic application. So here I'm grabbing a nail clipper and I'm just going to clip the sides to my desired length and my desired shape. These are the tips we're using guys. These are so nice. You guys have no idea. They're stiletto tips. They already come in a stiletto form and they're in a natural color. Here I'm going to grab my e-file and a brand new sanding band make sure you always use a brand new sanding band and just blend the tip onto your natural nail you're going to go ahead and use some alcohol grab a nail brush and you're just going to scrub off any excess debris onto your nails we love the young nails protein bond i go through one probably once a week and you're going to apply it onto your natural nail make sure that you do two coats of this stuff it's the best um primer that i've ever used honestly i swear by it it's nail crack to be honest so just make sure that you cover the nail completely and this is the acrylic system that we use young nails monomer and young nails um, powder and the one that i'm starting off with here is a pink powder by young nails it's not a cover pink it's actually very subtle in its color and it's just so nice it's a little it's just a little tint of pink which is perfect i'm going to use the glamming glitz acrylic powder in pink and purple and i'm just gonna grab some and just start designing a kind of like a marble look um you could dilute it, you can make it darker, and you're just gonna go around your nail until you get a little design that you start liking. Again, I'm kind of going for like a swirl marble look. Um, I'm not trying to make it too perfect. I want it to kind of blend into each other, the colors, and just trying to have fun with them. I'm gonna just keep grabbing more color and blending it onto the design until I'm happy with the way it looks and until I make sure that it's covered completely um, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more start on a different nail I always like to do a base of clear acrylic in this case pink acrylic because I don't um, like to put color to acrylic onto my natural nail um, I've had in the past where I use cheaper brands and it leaves staining onto my natural nail. And again, you're just going to repeat um, whatever design you want to do. I definitely recommend you using um, a bead that's a little bit wetter just so that you can, you know, mix it around. It's not drying quickly and it could just really blend into the other color that you're using. I'm going to start with the rest of my nails. I'm adding a bead in the center of the um, nail extension and I'm going to use the first bead to blend my natural nail and the tip together and I'm going to continue to add beads all the way down to the point of the tip. I like to, when I do my beads, my acrylic beads, I like to use a bead that's a little bit on the wetter side because I do have trouble manipulating 
the acrylic i don't like when the acrylic dries too quickly which is why i like my beads to be a little bit wetter and that is why i love young nails acrylic system because their monomer does not dry quickly obviously it's ema not mma and you're gonna notice a difference if you ever do nails or want to start to do nails mma products um they're liquid it dries very quickly your bead is gonna dry quickly and it's gonna be really hard for you to manipulate the the acrylic and it's gonna be very hard for you to make a good structured nail it's gonna be really lumpy it's gonna be very rocky and you don't want that so i'm gonna start on my thumb and i do make my thumb shorter because i have a nine month old baby <laughs> and i can't get him out of his car seat so if it looks a little funny that's why and on this specific nail, I'm going to still go with the little marble look, but I'm not going to do the full nail um, covered in the color. I'm just going to, you know, do a slight color. It's going to add a little bit of a different effect, and I actually really like how it came out. I'm just going to continue with the acrylic until my nail is covered completely. Again, make sure that your sides and your cuticle area is covered and it's clean. Here, I'm showing you guys just the um, the clear, the crystal clear acrylic from Young Nails. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the colored acrylic so that when it comes to filing, I'm not going to file off any of the color. It's going to be encapsulated. And um, when it comes to drilling and filing, it's going to be perfectly intact. And um, then I'm just going to have to top coat it. It's the easiest thing ever. Just make sure that you cover any colored acrylic that you're using and make sure you cover it well with the clear and then i'm going to go ahead and start filing i like to use rectangular files because i feel like they're really sturdy and they won't bend on me um then i'm going to go ahead and start filing at an angle if you could see i'm trying to get under my nail I'm trying to make sure that i don't have any drips of acrylic I do use the Mani Pro <clears throat> Passport from Koopa and I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling a, um, around my cuticle. I use a safety bit because I am scared to cut people with the regular bit and I am this bit in particular is a coarse and I'm just gonna go ahead and go around my cuticle and make sure that it blends in perfectly. Do my sides and I'm gonna go across my nail and try to get any ridges any bumps any imperfections out then i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my sanding band once again and i'm just gonna buff out any other little imperfections that i left behind with my coarse um, drill bit just make sure you you know buff out any imperfections and boom i'm done and I'm not gonna show you how I do my other hand because it's a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my protein bond again. I'm gonna cover my nail, and this helps the gel adhere perfectly onto my nail, and it's gonna um, help from any chipping that might occur. I'm gonna go in with my diamond gel from a press. I love this stuff, it's the best thing that I've found for. Um, any charms especially because you could add a thicker layer of it and just push in the charm and it's gonna add a really good coverage especially for charms like this where it sticks up you know it's not flat and you really can just go in with it and start adding to any gaps that are left I'm going to go in with some Swarovski stones in a magenta color and I'm going to continue to just add around to the design. I like using different sizes to add a little bit of a dimension. I'm going to go in with some ABs, Swarovski, and continue to add around and see how this um, oppressed 
the diamond gel i have not cured it so i could just continue to add more swarovski um stones or any other design really and the you know the heart is still there you see how it's still in place it's just very convenient and it saves you a lot of time i'm gonna go in with this indie gel it's a really light sparkle um glitter it's very see-through it's a sheer pink i love shears don't ask me for nude because i hate it but i will do a sheer i'm gonna go in with this foil glue that i get from my local nail shop and i'm gonna go ahead and apply it over the um the gel i'm gonna go in with this um young nails foil leaf foil and gold i'm gonna just kind of you know cut it up and start applying it and it works perfect over the foil glue it you know it, it adheres to it and um the foil glue when you apply it it does look a little blue but it when it dries it's um clear so you could add even taping i've even tried taping on top of it and it works great here i'm taking the synergy gel from young nails I'm using it as a build and I'm going to cover the foil and this is really important because it's going to save you from any chipping or peeling especially because this foil does tend to stick up a bit then I'm going to go ahead and use a striper brush and I'm going to cover any little cracks that are in between um, the gems and you're just going to go ahead and cover anything. This is really going to save you from any gems wanting to pop off. It's just a little bit of a security to it. Especially because, you know, clients are going to come back and tell you, Oh, my gem popped off. But if you do this extra little stuff, it's really going to save you from any of them popping off. I really do enjoy using this Koopa Top Coat because it is a non-wipe and it's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's really, it's a really good gel. And I'm going to go in and... Um, seal that charm in because it does stick up and you know what don't be scared to use big charms because if you just seal it right it's going to stay on then i'm going to go ahead and use cuticle oil and i'm going to drop it in and just massage it into my cuticles this is really important for a client especially and here's our final look please follow us on instagram and like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much.